Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Baby, we got to get some talking done. Now, we all know that Peach is going live back to back on Instagram because there is a $50,000 performance bonus of some sort going on over there on Instagram. It's like if you post and you meet milestones or something of that nature. Don't quote me. I don't know. I've just heard people talking about it that you can make more money. Also, she doesn't want the C to the P to the S B C and all her business. So she is over here, you know, trying to make it look all clean and family like on YouTube. So she's doing the mess over on Instagram. Now I'm going to tell y'all something. She went live today over there and boy, was it a mess. It was about two to three hours ago from the time I'm making this video. Um, I was able to catch it, watch it. And I was just like in shock. Number one, I'm in shock because of the language she uses. I know here on YouTube, you use some of the language that you do with all the B's and the O's and some of the stuff that you just say and call people. You're going to get ass suitability. You may even get struck. You might get a lot of things, you know, that is not right. So I'm going to take a wild guess that Instagram may have some different type of rules because baby, when I tell you she is using foul mouth language over there, she is using foul mouth language over there. And I guess nothing happens. I don't know how that works. I don't, you know, get down or get paid from that app. Okay. I'm just over there as a subscriber or a viewer or whatever you'd like to call me. Okay. Also, also the more that I watch this live and watch how she's been going live lately with her attitude, her chip on the shoulder, I'm really just like, Ooh, you know what? Her subscribers must like being talked to like crap. Like you must like being called out of your name. You must like being going off on. You must like being talked down to. I mean, she was over there today talking to them saying, you know, I was doing one-on-ones and on the one-on-one, -on -one, I was telling her how you must not know who you are. Be you been that be you that be and all this be and this and that be and they are these bees. And I don't know about a lot of people, but when I sit down with my friends, or my family. I'm not calling my friends, family, sisters, cousins, them B's and O's. And that's just not the conversation that we have. I call you by your name, your nickname or girl, or, you know, uh huh, like that. When we having a conversation, all of the way that you talk to people shows a lot about your character, the way you present yourself and the things you allow people to call you shows a lot about your character. A woman who thinks that it's cute to be, you know, in her thirties going around addressing people as B's and O's and Oh girl, you know, B what's going on with you and B that is not cute. That is not at all anything that I would ever do, but you know, Maybe there's those ghetto country, I don't know what. I don't even know what to call the peach patch anymore, except for people who like to be talked to, to terribly. So let's talk about this for a minute. Peach has got a new sales, you know, tactic. Uh, her new sales tactic to me is try and say, come be self-sufficient. Then maybe you'll buy my bundles. Maybe you'll do this. Maybe you'll do that. Let me try and use my jacked up life story to make you feel like you can do something. Her whole slogan all this time, we know. I've made millions of dollars, although I've gambled it away. I've made millions of dollars. Also, I went from being in the projects and food stamps and Medicaid and WIC to now being self-sufficient. You know, that's the storyline she goes on. But the more and more that she sells this, people are not buying. They don't care what you're saying. They just are like, girl, we see what you do with your money. We see how you still get pandemic food stamps. We know that you get something to help you along with these seven kids because if you didn't get something at this point, whether it be a free medical or something of that nature, some kind of voucher, I don't know what it could be, but if she wasn't getting absolutely anything, you would almost think she'd be a little bit more responsible with her money. As a mother, if you have one child, you can't hit having zero dollars. Like you can't hit losing all of your money. You can't, it, it just, you can't live. So a woman that has seven kids and a husband to go and gamble all her money away and then sit here and cry about it. You almost have to think, well, you got something coming through that's keeping you afloat. Cause if it wasn't, you wouldn't be floating. But anywho, she is out here and she's now because no one's joining these classes. No one's buying these bundles. She's 
she's trying to go deep. And on this live, she was really going in on people who get like food stamps, housing, Medicaid. She was saying how they're lazy. They sell their food stamps for, you know, alcohol and drug use. And she was saying that if you buy food stamps, you just to blame because that means they ain't feeding their kids. And you just to blame as much as if she says, you know, if you're using drugs and you overdose, then guess what? You're, uh, the dr dealer is not to blame. It's the person that gave the money to buy or the family members of the person that's using them. And I'm just like blown back by the things that she says. Okay. I just want to break a thing down or so. Okay. I will be one to say, cause I already have, I have bought food stamps from people in the past. Some people don't look at it as well, you know, what they're feeding or this and that. When I buy food stamps, it's usually because I'm guilty into it. It's usually someone that knows me and they know, okay, well, you know, Storm has a little money. If we go to her and we give her a sad story, she'll buy them. And that's typically how it comes about. Someone to come to me, girl, hey, you, I got 100 for 50 and I need to pay a bill and then I feel bad. So it's almost like a lot of times I do it because it's like, okay, well, I'm helping them. They saying they need this. Half the time people borrow money from me. They don't give it back. So at least I'm getting something in return. The human thing is, is that I have to think about my family first, right? And I have to think about making sure that if I give somebody $50, $60 and they're not giving it back, at least I know I have uh, bought groceries because my money is my money. My time is my money and my money goes to me and my child, period. But let's move on from that. The fact that you came from so-called humble beginnings and then you always are downing people and telling them, well, if you want to be self-sufficient, all you have to do is buy my bundle. Number one, buying your bundle doesn't guarantee that someone's going to get money. Not everybody has personality. Not everybody has what it takes to be a content creator. And that's not the only way to get self-sufficient. Try getting a real job. People, if you're out here on benefits or you getting help from the government, try getting a real job. Try getting something that's a career. I would and tell anybody who is out here struggling and can't make ends meet, well, go buy my class. I'll sell you a class and I'll tell you how to get here and make content creating. First off, it takes a while to meet a lot of milestones to get where you need to get to make money. Also, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and all of that brings drama and brings people in your business. Also, it is not a career. I know there are content creators that make a lot of money, but it's still not a career. I'm going to tell you, just like last month when YouTube decided that they were going to pay us a few days late and you had all these content creators out here making videos saying, where is my money? And you jacking this up and you jacking that up. It's not guaranteed. That's why I have a job that when I clock in, I know that I have a paycheck at the end of the week because I clocked in. I know that I have benefits. I know that I have a 401k plan. A content creating does not have all that. Content creating should, is a way to make extra money. But telling people that if you don't get out here and get self-sufficient and you have a phone and this and that, that's not that's not how you advertise something. Maybe it's just a, a hobby or maybe it's just a way to make extra money. But down in people who get benefits, I just don't down people who get benefits because maybe they need it. Maybe it's a stepping stone. Peach, didn't you say it was a stepping stone for you? Didn't you say it was your way of taking care of your three, four kids and your husband? Didn't you say you didn't mind living in the projects? Didn't you say that you needed the food stamps to feed your family? Sometimes it's a stepping stone. Yeah, there's people out here that probably are snagged and been on it for years and don't know how to get off and is used to it and abuse the system. That happens. But you don't know what your subscribers are. You got a lot of your subscribers from doing a uh, day in the life in the projects, food stamps hall and things like that. So you don't know who you're offending. Also, you don't know who, okay, may have hit a rock in a hard spot and needed help. And then now you talking about them. Girl, you ain't got no room to talk about nobody. I mean, that live was very offensive and it was very disgusting. And I'm not one who gets no assistance. I have one child. He's 17. He works. They ain't going to give me nothing for him. And I'm fine with that because I've raised him and I'm okay. All right. But there's people who need it. And I mean, that's offensive. So I'm just saying when she gets out and says, oh, well, the only people who talk about getting assistance is the ones that's on it. And I'm getting, you know, ringing their bells and I'm making them upset. No, that's not the case. Sometimes the case is, is that you just rude, nasty, and disgusting, and you forget where you come from. Also, you think it's okay to say, uh, 
well, your mammy's and your grandmammy's still on it and this, that, and the third. Some people don't take kindly to that. You always got to bring other people into your mess. Talk about yourself first and talk about how you was a project pet and you didn't have nothing, but you did know how to spread them legs and keep popping them out until you hit something on YouTube. How it took you a while to do that after uh, apartments was burnt down and GoFummies and subscribers was buying you cars. Go talk about that instead of talking about everybody else. Y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the comments.